Have you ever wondered where your university ranks in terms of new grad salaries? Well, fortunately for both of us, someone went through the struggle of doing that. But first, if you want to improve your resume game, check out Paper Moon Tech's resume template kit specifically designed for computer science students. To optimize your resume actually being seen by a recruiter, the first 20 people to use code MIQL at checkout with the affiliate link in the description below will get 20% off. So I was browsing Reddit the other day and I saw a post by a user called Bananacam1809 on the CS Majors subreddit. So shout out to this person. And if you want to check out the original post, you can find that in the description below. But basically this person went through all of the data provided by the Department of Education about new grad median earnings from almost every United States university and specifically targeted at computer science oriented majors at those universities. So since on this channel, we talk a lot about computer science education, college advice, early career advice, all good things like that. I thought they this was, you know, pretty applicable. So that brings us to this spreadsheet. And if you want to check out this spreadsheet, you can find it in the description below in case you want to look at where your university might rank. Now, there are just some notes that you should take note of. So there might be multiple entries for a given, you know, single university. And that's just because there might be multiple types of computer science majors at that university. So that might skew the overall data a little bit. Additionally, this is only data by the Department of Education, given that those specific students received federal financial aid and received their degree. So that's sort of the constraints about the constraints about what data is used in this spreadsheet. So try to take it with a grain of salt. And also there's some useful some useful docs on here, which I thought was cool. We can just take a look at some of the top universities here, and it's kind of amazing. So we see Caltech, Computer and Information Sciences, median earnings $153,000. And now that's crazy. That's so high. Guys, that's so high. And then we see, you know, Brown, 141K, Carnegie Mellon. Now, Carnegie Mellon has one of the best computer science uh, curriculums around. They're known for computer science. So that is a hundred and almost 39,000 new grad salary. That's crazy. And as we can see, a lot of these universities, obviously super top tier, all, all of these ones, all really, really amazing schools. We see Stanford 126, Harvard 128. Now, you know, I got to check my alma mater. So let's look up university, if I can spell it right, of California. We see Berkeley at 114. The the first rank or, you know, number one rank out of all of the UCs. Then we see UCLA at 102. Then UCSD, number three at 80,800. And then we see some others, UC Santa Barbara, 77. UC Davis, 75. UC Irvine, 71. Another UC Irvine. So this is where you see there, there's multiple majors uh, relating to computer science at a given university. UC Santa Cruz, UC Santa Cruz again. Uh, and that's that's all the UC. So I thought this resource is really interesting. Again, you can find it in the description below if you want to go through and see maybe what schools you might want to apply to, as well as the potential new grad earnings from those. Obviously, there's a lot of variables going into this. So again, take it with a grain of salt, but we can see the histogram of median earnings over here. As you can see, the median is around 56,000. Now, I did see in the comments of this uh, Reddit post that this is a little bit low from other sources that report new grad salaries. But you know, I was curious. I was curious on if there was a correlation between a university's rank and their median earnings. You know, we can we briefly saw it at the beginning or at the top of this document. We see that a lot of these schools are really, really highly ranked. I wanted to see if there was actually a correlation in that. So I did a little bit of Python magic. And if you really want to know how the code works, just stick till the end and I'll explain it briefly in case you want to do some more data uh, management on this. But basically I found a ranking uh, data set of world universities that I got from Kaggle, which is like a data science project website. As a note, not every university on this earnings document is on that ranking document. So there might be some discrepancies there, but it did provide a lot of data points that are good in a scatter plot. And I was able to plot the best fit line to see if there was actually a 
you know, noticeable correlation. So doing all of that Python goodness, I found, I created this document with Python, with the university, their median earnings, and then their corresponding rank according to the world ranking data set that I was using. Now again, as you can see, not all of the ranks are filled in, but there are some, you know, it, it covers a lot of them. You know, it goes up to 117 or 116 entries, which I thought was enough to see a correlation in the scatter plot. So if we bring it over to the Python magic a little bit, uh, I won't explain this code now, but I'll just run it right now, just so that we can get the, the scatter plot up in front of us. Uh, permission error. Uh, I was just hitting some bugs really quick but <laughs> I got it working. So you can see all the data points, and even if I didn't plot the best fit line, you could probably see a, a correlation between the two statistics. So I didn't name all the axes, axes, and I didn't name the title of this graph, I know. You get an F on a, you know, if this was a math homework assignment, but on the Y axis, we see the salaries, and on the X axis, we see the rank. As the rank approaches zero, so as the rank gets better, now the lower the rank, the usually, typically the better the university, we see that overall, the salaries are generally higher up until that, it looks like, you know, 50-ish mark. And then as you can see with the best fit line, as the ranks get a little bit higher, the earnings, median earnings of new grad salaries typically get a little bit lower. Now, I thought that was a really interesting correlation and just to see the data in front of you now, I don't want anyone to like stress about this because again, take everything, all of this data with a grain of salt. So if you're go to a, maybe a lower ranked university, don't be worried about like median a median average salary based on like what this person got from the department of education and then the rankings I used from like a Kaggle data set. Don't worry about that. I just thought it was pretty interesting to, you know, mess around with Python a little bit and then see how the data actually uh, looks when we have it in front of us. And likewise, on the other side, just because you go to a highly ranked university does not automatically ensure that you're going to get a super high paying salary and it doesn't entitle that to you anyway just a disclaimer if you're getting a computer science education and a you're a computer science major you're already in an awesome field that already pays much higher than the average compared to almost every other major out there so you're already really in a good in a good spot i just thought this was particularly interesting to examine sort of all of the data that's out there and see what correlations exist. Again, you can find all of these resources in the description below if you wanna look and mess around with the data a little bit more. Now, for the code, I'll explain, explain it briefly in case you wanna mess around with it. This is written in Python. Basically, what's going on is I have two CSV files. One is that earnings doc we looked at earlier, and then the other one is the world rankings doc that I got from that Kaggle data set. This isn't like best practices. I was just doing this quickly to make sure that it worked. I I'm using pandas, so I basically load both of these uh, CSV files into a pandas data frame. And specifically, I, I don't really want any other columns. I just want the institution name, uh, the median earnings from the earnings CSV, as well as the university and the score rank from the world rankings CSV. Then I declare some arrays and dictionaries. Basically in the rankings data frame, I just go through each of the universities and put them into a uh, dictionary where the university name is the key, the score rank is the value. I go through the median earnings CSV and grab each of the university names. And if that university exists in the world rankings dictionary, then I make an array of arrays uh, where the, each entry is the university name with the median earnings and that associated university rank. Then I make a new data frame out of all of those arrays in that big array with the columns university earnings and rank and that's the Excel doc that I showed you earlier. And then uh, we can sort, basically I just sort it by the rank and then export it. So that's what we're looking at earlier. Additionally, what we do is we go through this new data frame that we created. And essentially what we're doing is we wanna make an X and a Y array so that we can use it in the scatter plot. So the X, as I said, is the row rank. 
So that would be the, the column rank in that CSV file. And then we want to, all of the earnings have the dollar sign and the comma there. So we want to replace that and just make it a number. So that's what I do here with extracted is we replace all of the dollar signs with, we just remove them, uh, same with commas, and then we convert it to an integer and then add it to the Y data set. Then this thing here is I reverse the arrays because I want the, the highest number uh, at the top of the axis basically. So you just reverse the array there. And then I do some matplotlib stuff. This line here with the poly 1D numpy stuff, that is just plotting the best fit line and then I show the graph. So that's how the Python stuff works. If you are interested in using Python for data manipulation and seeing correlations and every all the good stuff like that. That's all from me guys. I thought it was gonna be an interesting video to see how things actually correlate with new grad salaries and college ranks, all sort of interesting things like that. Again, as a disclaimer, just because your university might not be as highly ranked as another does not mean that you are going to necessarily receive a lower overall base salary or anything like that. And equally, if you go to a really high university, you're not guaranteed a super high base salary out of college either. Again, this data has a lot of variables, so take it all with a grain of salt. So again, if you are interested in improving your CS resume game, check out Paper Moon Tech in the description below with the affiliate link. 5% of this month's sales go to Girls Who Code, and you would also be supporting the channel. So definitely check it out if that sounds interesting. My name is Michael. If you are new to the channel, we do British accents here always at the end of the video. We make college advice, career advice, tech and computer science videos. If any of those sound interesting to you, consider subscribing to the channel. You can always count on bad British accents from your boy over here. Check out one of my past videos, my past self with Ike Daily. Check out one of my future videos. My future self would also thank you dearly. Hope you're all doing well. That's all from me. Comment down below any suggestions for future videos that you might have in those comments below. Hopefully I'll see you in another one. Bye-bye.